are you expecting from your opponent, Shad Smith? I'm expecting him to come out and just brawling, kind of like how he did last time, just straight uh, wild punches, and uh, he's going to be hard to take down. I don't know if he even want to take him down, try to stand up, evade his, his hard strikes, try to let him tire down, and then you know, just take advantage of the opportunities, which will open up, I hope. So you, so you want to stay on your feet? I want to stay on my feet, yes. I guess I heard he's hard to take down. He's got no submission skills once he's on the ground, but you know, I'm not that, that, not that good at submissions myself either, so my uh, striking will help me on this one. You're fighting a KOTC veteran, Dwayne Ludwig. What do you know about him? Uh, not much. I just enjoy watching him fight. I've seen him fight a few times. He's good. Um, I would ask if you want to keep it on your feet or take it down, but I know you want to keep it on your feet. I know you want to throw some bombs. What do you think uh, Dwayne's going to do? Because he's also a stand-up fighter. Yeah, uh, I don't know. We'll probably keep it on our feet, hopefully. Cool. That's what I look forward to. You looking for a knockout? Yeah, of course. Yeah. We're joined by a really good friend of mine coming off a great victory in Pride over Gary Goodridge, Rico Rodriguez. How Thanks you doing, for Rico? You. Thanks for inviting hey, me, guys. How Rico, you doing, Don? Good to have How's you. How's everybody feeling tonight? What do you think about the fight so far, Rico? Man, I think this is spectacular. A lot of great showmen. We've seen a lot of new fighters. We've seen a lot of other experienced fighters. I think it's a great mix-up. And plus, you're seeing head-to-head -head fighters that are really, really matched up pound for pound. OK, you ready? Ready? This guy wearing sneakers. He's going off. Yeah, he, yeah, he is. He, look. But Ludwig is really coming off. out now, with Now, the other gentleman from Frank Shamrock School, right? No, Shad's actually, he's a, he's a street fighter, doesn't really claim a school. Um, he he's, has been training with uh, the Roughnecks out, um, I think, from Upland. Um, but basically, he claims just to be a street fighter. He's, he said he's been on over a 1,000 street fights. Um, Although, although he is a street fighter and has been over and been in over a thousand fights, he's very humble, real nice guy, well-mannered guy. I was talking to him earlier. Um, had all the respect in the world for Dwayne, but I mean, he also had that fire in his eye. I don't know. I, I, as much as you are evil in the street, it comes down to a technical standpoint here, and I'm going to have to go with Dwayne. He looks very calm, taking his time, is composed. He's making sure this is going the way he wants it to. We're watching a beautiful Absolutely. takedown. Yeah, beautiful Both takedown. Underhooks. Landed in the mount. Um, in Shad's the mount. in trouble now. Shad's in trouble. Let's just see if he keeps his composure. Does it act wild? It doesn't give a, you know, anything. You know, we could look for something hey fancy here. Shad needs the bridge. He needs to get Dwayne off that mounted position as, as fast as possible. Because uh, he looks very composed. I'm very impressed he's not getting wired, not turning to his back. I'm very impressed. Reaching his arm out, very bad for arm bars. Key locks. And I'm sure I'm sure Dwayne studied Chad's last fight and and and, and you, he closed the distance. He didn't want to get in a uh, an exchange with him on his feet, although he is a Muay Thai guy. Yeah. And uh, here you got Chad going for a guillotine. I've never seen it while being mounted. If he pulls this off, this will be a, an all-time first here if he pulls this off. I think I'll be a all-time first anywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, if he can pull this guillotine well, I, off. I see Dwayne from, complaining about something. Something about, um, he's complaining to the referee about something, I don't know what. So no, there is some pressure being applied to his neck. Right. He yeah, definitely but can't be in there in the ring, and you know, there are all those small things, such as your, you know, mouthpiece falling out or getting poked in the eye, you know, but the fight does continue. It's a if, shame. If Shad could slip his legs under and pull him into the guard and- There he got out. Oh, oh, Dwayne's out. out. Oh, he got an arm bar. Oh, right. now he's, he's on back. His back. If he gets his hooks in, it he's could be over. Neck. Oh, no, no, he released it up. No. Oh. Very shocking that he let nice. that go. Oh, beautiful tight kick well, but to Dwayne, the head. Dwayne is oh, a oh. Dwayne. Dwayne oh. going off. That's it. Oh, the, the referee let it go. Oh, oh he's Dwayne. Definitely. No, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. No, Dwayne's he's got him. He's taking. He he's is out. really no. the he's, he's, he's up, the but he's out. Go. If Dwayne throws anything that lands, he's going to go down. Shoot right now. Chad's in big trouble. Big trouble. Dwayne is dominating the strikes. Wow, impressive leg kicks. Impressive stand-up fighter in general. Now he's, let, he's letting his fighter off guard, or, or off oh. the hook. There it is. 
He needs to shoot another one to the oh, head. Right, left, leg kick. He's just working his combination. Dwayne, one, two, Dwayne one, two. He's basically his hitting him like a punching oh, bag. another one to the He's head. He's like a punching bag. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, oh, it's over. They throw the oh. towel in. Well, he landed everything. Best fight of the night. Landed Best everything. Clean shots. Night. Kicks to the legs, kicks to the head, body shots, knees. He was literally working the heavy bag there. Talk about a Muay Thai clinic. That was just a clinic, seminar, call it what now, you what want. what is this young man doing with his pants off? Dwayne went <laughs> off. I know Boz Rutten is smiling right now. He's as proud as he can be. Dwayne Ludwig, Boz's protege. He just ate him up with the strikes. There's Boz in the ring right now. I must say that had to be the most technical stand-up fighting I've seen today. Wow. Right, that, that, that's about wow. the best punches and kicks I've seen. Yeah, technically. I, I don't think, once his opponent was stunned, it was just a matter of time. I don't think he could be, be taken down in the position he was in. Right. He was throwing so much stuff at him that you wouldn't know what to go for if you were trying to take him down. I, you know, a lot of people, when they see they dazed or knocked out their opponent, they get actually very wild. aggressive and wild. That's and that mistake. is the worst thing to do. As we saw here, he kept his composure, stepped back up, went back to his original he took his time. He right. took his time with him. He yeah. The corner has thrown in the towel for fighter Shad Smith for the winner, Dwayne Ludwig. What was interesting about this fight is that Dwayne clearly had clearly had Shad's back, could have sunk his hooks in, gone for the rear naked choke, but he chose not to. He chose to get back on his feet, and he had he had so much confidence in his striking skills that it didn't matter that he gave up the back. Right. Um, me being a grappler, I would have just seized the opportunity, sunk in my chokes, went sunk in my hooks, went for the choke. But Dwayne, I agree with you on that one. Dwayne just stood up and took him apart. Well, they say Excellent his fighting fight. style, is Muay Thai, up. with some jujitsu background. That doesn't sound like a lot. It looks like he's more of a stand-up striker. And he dominated course, it. Anybody knows that you go with what you know. Absolutely. Don't try to play now, out of your style or your game. I'm sure he does know the ground game, and he, and he did look competent on the ground, but definitely he was so far ahead on his strikes. I'm here with Dwayne Ludwig after a spectacular show of Muay Thai force. How did you do it? Uh, I just wanted to go out there and show him I had the better power way of saying the power puncher. And listen to my trainer, he came inside on him instead of going wide. He likes to go wide, so I wanted to come inside and look at the openings and they were there. So. Got him. Boss, were you proud? It's like seeing myself fighting. I, I, it's like bragging now what I say, because he sees everything. The guy's hurt, he gives him a liver shot. Oh, liver goes down, he gives him a high kick. You know, he works in from, he's working from the head till toe. Not like every other fighter does, only to the head, only to the body. No, he's working the whole body. It's perfect, man. the best. Yeah. Okay, now, there was a little bit of a karate kid move in there. Uh, uh, I, said it. It. I said before the fight, I said it for fun, I said, listen, if you throw the, if you want to throw the guy up, go for the karate stance, and that may give him a right straight. You know, just for fun. So he just did it. Joke, yeah. So I once I had him hurt, I did it when I was safe. So it flew off from me. Spectacular win, Dwayne. Can you believe this guy's my sparring partner? Can you believe he's 165 pounds? Aye aye aye. Okay, guys, and back to you.